Hi guys, Adam here. So in the last video, we created a calculation in this table um, that would give us the SRPE or session RPE, which is the latest RPE multiplied by the latest duration. Now, if we leave it where it is, it's gonna cause a problem. And that's because we set up our sheet in a way where when we update it, it's expecting columns to be in a certain order and they have specific contents within them. And I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen when we try to update our sheet now. So I'm gonna go into our Google Sheets here, do what I did last time to select it all efficiently. Click on cell A1, control A to select all the contents, control C to copy them. Back to the Excel sheet, click on cell A1, and paste them in. Oh boy. So now what we notice is that our RPEs are gone. Um, they're replaced by the question of the day answers. That's a problem because if we had a visualization or data that was looking at the SRPEs, when we look at those visualizations or that data, it's not going to work. It's going to be all messed up. So the way that we deal with this, and this is a general rule, sorry, I'm just going to undo a couple things here. Uh, that's control Z. So whenever you do a calculation in a table, you always move it to the end or after all of the data that's uh, that you're continuously updating. So the first thing that I do when I create a calculation is that I color code the column header a different color so that I know. Okay, SRP is a calculation. I know that. It's different from, from the color of everything else. Now what I'm going to do is if I click on the column header and go down a little bit, you're going to see these arrows pointing in each direction. And you're going to click and hold, and now we're going to drag it over to the end and you know you don't want to go up or down that's going to screw things up make sure that it's in the same row that it began in and i'm going to do that great so now i'm going to do the same thing again come here control a control c come in here right click paste it all right Nothing happened to my SRP column. The data stays good. And now our calculation will continue to work. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create another sheet. And this is really important because you want to segregate the visualization of the information from the collection of the information to ensure that the information that is collected remains accurate and is unaffected by the visualizations. So to do that, I'm going to create a new tab and I'm just going to call it data viz. And that's it for this video. In the next one, we'll do a couple of visualizations.